I want to thank uh, Delta Irrigation for inviting me to be here. I treat it as an honor and I'm proud to be here. I'm going to just say that surge irrigation is important for conserving water. If you are watering for 12 hours, I can cut that down to six hours with the application that we offer. And the PowerPoint that I'm fixing to um, show right now will explain to y'all what it is that our application does with our surge valve and the controller or timer, shall we say, that's on the valve to explain to you what it is that we're doing to help you guys help conserve water. The important thing about surge is that it will contain not only your water inside, it does not matter to me what you're growing. If you're watering rice, corn, cotton, soybeans, it does not matter to me. The unit can be fine-tuned like a guitar or a carburetor where you keep your water inside the field. There's been discussion that we're getting too much water at the end of the field as far as drainage, tail water. Not only are you losing your water, it's taking you more time to water that field, and then you're also losing your soil, your nutrients, your fertilizer. If you water, just throw your water out there, you lose all of that. And what our key is, is to contain the water and all of the other factors inside the table of the field. Whatever soil, it does not matter to me. It can be done. And there is no reason to, to do that. We, we have to, we have to. This needs to be done now, not in the future. It needs to be done now. And of course, y'all get better yields. Your crop is gonna be the same from the top end to the bottom end of the field, whether it's corn, cotton, soybeans, whatever. And I have proof and testimonials to, to say that what I'm saying is, okay, yeah, sure. I'm the president slash owner or whatever, but I'm not here to sell my product. I'm just here to introduce it. It's already been known in the state of Mississippi, but there's a lot of people that don't know about us. That's why I do these trips and do these conferences, expos, or the list goes on and on. But anyway, I'm happy to be here. I'm not gonna to take too much of y'all's time. I'm gonna do my PowerPoint. At the end, if there's any questions at all, I can answer them. And we have a booth at the entrance of the meeting room. And if there's any questions, we can answer them. This is the problem that we have. If y'all can see, this is in Colorado. This is a field that, uh, if y'all can see right here at the end, this was what was, talked, what was talked about earlier. This is a disaster. We can't have this anymore. Not only are they losing all their water, this field is being watered with um, siphon tubes. So there's no control. And what we want to do is for you to keep your water right here at the bottom end of the field, not have this destruction that we see here. And he's watering probably seven rows. With the surge valve, he could be watering 14 rows and not have this, this stuff right here. And that needs to stop. Not only is he losing his water, but he's also losing, like I said earlier, in, in five years, he'll lose two or three inches of that soil, not to mention all of the fertilizer and the nutrients in his, in his field. So we need to put a stop to that in every state, even Colorado. On this, it's going to explain to you how surge works, okay? On the bottom, is a field that is being watered for six hours with regular flood, no valve. 
On the top portion, you'll see that it's watering in four hours and 52 minutes, twice as many rows, and we're going to eliminate, you're going to see at the end of the diagram when it finishes that you're going to get tail water. Up here, it's going to stop right there. And that's what's key for any field, any particular crop. But what happens is that it distributes half of the water to one side of the field and then the other half of the water of whatever advanced time that you use to contain the water inside the table of the field. We don't need this. You will see that when this is already at the end here, when it gets to the end, then it goes into a soak cycle, basically sprinkling right and left. On this particular time, it'll probably be, I would say 20 minutes, right and left, right and left. And that way you'll get your infiltration for whatever given crop. Of course, corn is gonna take more than soybeans. So you just let it run, let it run until you get the moisture that you want, two inches, three inches, or whatever. And then you just turn it off. It goes into a soap cycle for a reason, because you don't have to mess with it. You can sit under an umbrella and have a cooler of beer or whatever, and this thing is gonna do it for you. It's, you don't have to touch it. It does not matter. It's gonna do it for you. This is what I don't like. If y'all can see, most of the water is gonna be at the top end of the field. So your corn is gonna be taller here than it is here because most of your water is on the top end of the field. And up here with the search valve, you're having an even amount of distribution on both sides of your field from this end to that end. And this needs to change. Why are you gonna water seven rows when you can water 14 rows in 50% less of the time? So you, not only are you getting a better crop, you're saving your water, you're saving your energy, and of course, no drainage, no tailwater. And this can be accomplished. It does not matter to me, like I said, any kind of soil, it, it does, it, it's, it's irrelevant. It, it can be fine-tuned to stop right there, and then it's gonna go to, uh, of course, a soap cycle. But that's what's key. The system has a solar panel and a 12 volt battery. It's self-sufficient, very little service that it needs. And if it does need service, we are well known to make sure that we service this equipment that we offer to the, to the whole ag industry. It will save you up to 50% over regular flood irrigation. It works with low pressure. It's, like I said earlier, uniform distribution from top to bottom of your field. Control ground penetration to make sure that your crop is, is going to be the same from the top end to the bottom end of the field. And this one right here, this is very important. It reduces erosion and eliminates tailwater. That's what's key about surge irrigation. And it conserves your soil nutrients, improves, improves your infiltration and seeding your soils. These are the valves that we offer. We have a six inch, an eight inch, a 10 inch, and a 12 inch. The most popular one here in, in uh, Mississippi is this one, the 10 inch. Uh, once in a while, there'll be some 12s, but this 10 inch is the one that's most popular. It can handle up to 2,000 gallons per minute. These bigger valves right here, the 10 inch and the 12 inch, you can see the difference on the gear. That's because they can handle more gallons per minute than the eight inch and the six inch. 
These are the two controllers that we offer. There's a Pro Junior 3 and then the Metal Star. Both of these have been very popular here in the state of Mississippi. There's a lot of questions that are being asked as to what is the difference between the Pro Junior 3 and the Metal Star. Okay, you have four different points. It's your soil texture, the fuel shape, the infield variability, and of course, your advanced type. The difference between the Metal Star and the Pro Junior 3 is that the star can water 40%, 60% and change your ratios. Whatever time you put on that controller, it will automatically calculate, let's say you put in a 12 hour advanced start. It's gonna, if you put 40, 60, okay, it's gonna put four hours on the left and eight hours on the right, depending on if you have, on, on it, it can go opposite. The Pro Junior 3 will only water 50-50. If you put 12 hours, all it's going to do for you is put 6 hours on one side and 6 hours on the other side in increments so that we can get your water up and stop it at the end of the field. These are just photos of some examples of some of the systems that are out there. This is a design that was done by Delta, by, Mississippi State. by Mississippi State. How they came up with this idea, I don't know, but it worked. If y'all can see, this crop is the same from here all the way to the end. These are probably three quarter mile length rows, maybe half mile, but it's, it's, it's a good process, and that's what I was describing. You're going to get the same on this side and the same on this side throughout your watering. It can be used with PVC, aluminum pipe. We don't see much of aluminum pipe anymore, or PVC. Most of it, I think, uh, has gone over to, to poly pipe. <coughs> but no that if you have aluminum or PVC, there is a pierce gasket right here that you can put in your pipe. There are stops so that the flap don't hit the pipe whenever you put your pipe in. All in all, I think, I want everybody to understand that PNR Surf Systems Inc. is not being a rival against our competitors, which is Pivots, Drip, or anybody else. We just want to be considered as a company that offers a different option, depending on what you're growing. Okay, if you can afford uh, Mercedes Benz, fine. But if not, at least consider the Mitsubishi, okay? It's cost effective. It will pay itself off within a year, at the most a year and a half. So do the math. Are you gonna spend 80 to $100,000 on a pivot or spend $3,000 on something that's gonna be just as effective and not lose your corners and it can do the same. Of course, it's a little bit more, more labor intensive because you have to have your, your hands put the pipe out and things like that. But it does the same thing. Push of a button, it'll help conserve your water. I appreciate very much the invitation here. If y'all have any questions, I would answer them right now or visit us at our booth. Thank you very much.